Hi, Lala. Um, I had two uh, things I wanted to get back to you about. Uh, number one, the Mad Dog. The look that uh, that the Earl gives to folks, um, as opposed to what you give, which is the Death Stare. This is very similar, I'm sure. Uh, demonstration of the Mad Dog. I'm not going to aim it at you, because I care too much about you to subject you to the Mad Dog, but uh, I'll aim it at that dead tree. You ready? It just, it just escalates in intensity. If, if our eyes were locked, um, it would feel terrible. Uh, the second thing I wanted to get to you about is uh, the right to bear arms. Um, I have a gun. I like it a lot. Uh, and uh, I love the, uh, the, the skills necessary in marksmanship. Um, it's a full body thing, a full breath thing, a full concentration thing. and something that takes a lot of focus and a lot of time to get good at. Um, so I like that. I also like the idea of uh, being able to hunt for my food. Um, I think that if you're going to eat meat, uh, it should be uh, that should be a given that you'll try to go out and uh, get, get it yourself at some point in time. And uh, not enough people uh, ha can do that. Actually, there's so many people who like to hunt, and uh, you either can't get uh, a ticket, so to speak, a tag. Um, you know, you might you might miss out for several years, or when you get one, you might not get a shot at a deer for like five years. Um, so actually, next year I'm going to try to go. Uh, there's some invasive squirrels that they're big that you could shoot uh, in uh, Central Oregon. So I'm, I might drive a couple hundred miles to shoot squirrels and um, you know learn how to skin and you know, eat them. I'm going to eat them probably over a fire that I make right there on the spot as I as I praise that squirrel spirit and let it know that it's. Uh, its spirit will be a part of me, make me stronger, make me more squirrely, more squirrely Earl. Um, all right, but let's say, let's say though, someone says, uh, guns are killing people. Um, we should, we should, uh, you've got a little something here. It's going to drive me nuts. I don't think I can wipe it off though. Just, I don't have anything to do here. I'm just going to use my finger. There, sorry about that. That seemed, hold on a second. You're gonna, come in for a hug. A little bit better. That, was, that, was, that, might, that might have been presumptuous. I hope you didn't mind. It might balance out the mad dog. Um, all right. So something's killing people. Guns are killing people, uh, and, and it horrifies us. So let's just get rid of that. Um, I like that idea, and here's how I'd like to start it. I'd just like to start nearer the top, though. Um, like with health issues, uh, like heart disease and cancer. Um, like. Whoa, how are you going to get rid of, are you just going to like outlaw heart disease, cancer? Um, well, like, you know, an inactive uh, uh, community, uh, people who don't exercise for whatever reason. Um, uh, uh, an industry that continues to crank out uh, steel and rubber and burn uh, fossil fuels. Um, like, so how are you going to prevent all that, that just drive for steel and rubber and burning of fossil fuels? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to ban that stuff. I, though I would say that if your uh, company uh, or your industry produces uh, poisons, you should capture those poisons as they, before they leave your building and then deal with them. It's not, you shouldn't just pump them out to our water and air. It's not our, that's not our poison. Don't tell us that, well, you want, you know, steel cars and rubber on your wheels, um, so you're going to have to deal with poison, because that, that seems like bull to me. I feel certain I couldn't run my show like that. Um, anyway, okay, so move down the list. Since I don't know how to ban those things. Uh, the freeway there, this one in particular, um, runs around the clock. I used to drive this at 3 a.m. and at 4 a.m. and it's all the lanes are full, are full-ish, even at 4 in the morning. Um, well, millions of people are dying on that thing constantly. The, the freeway, our highways, our roads are just bloodbaths. So uh, I'd put an end to that. That's something we can do. Um, uh, get rid of uh, this massive uh, abuse of cars. Um, so you'd have to have small communities. You'd have to walk everywhere. Hey, wait a minute. We're getting. Whoa. You see where I'm going? <laughs> 
Yeah, you'd have to walk everywhere. Without the car, you'd need to walk and visit your neighbors and walk to get your groceries and walk your groceries back. Um, your communities would have to be small. You'd be buying from your neighbors. Um, uh, everybody would be exercising, and uh, if you wanted to buy something big, like you know your bed or something like that, well, the people who sell beds would deliver it to you. It's not like I'm going to outlaw all vehicles. Just like, just this non-stop use of them. Like everybody that you know, you you walk to work. You live in a, a community that could support uh, the amount of individuals that live there. Um, yeah. So suddenly, uh, suddenly we're not cranking out a zillion cars. Uh, so the it's steel industry isn't cranking out tons of poisons. So we have less heart disease. Uh, you know, less uh, uh, cancers. Um, and then, uh, I mean, this probably, if, if I'm going to die before uh, my time, I'm probably going to die on the road. Um, we all get in accidents, and uh, a lot of those accidents are fatal. Um, it's pro probably the most likely, most likely someone's going to kill me with their car. Um, so it, let's say, like, we got rid of them all, and, uh, and then we worked our way down to guns. If we did work our way down to guns, if I lived in a small little village, uh, where I knew everybody around me and everybody was healthy and walking around and um, buying from their neighbors. and um, It wasn't so insanely dangerous to walk eight blocks with my dog to the park because I have to walk across um, four, uh, four lane roads that are massively overwhelmed by traffic. And the side roads, the neighborhood roads, some people try to avoid the traffic on the larger lanes so they go hauling through uh, neighborhood roads um, just as fast as possible. As the neighborhoods are putting in speed bumps and I watched a guy go by a school and hit a, a speed bump and rise all the way up on the top of his shocks. It was like almost like he was going to catch air. Um, you know, cause he, so he could get to work, which is you know 25 miles away or however far away that guy has to go to work uh, as fast as possible. So. Yeah, so if we got rid of all that stuff, got down to my guns, I'd break my gun over my knee, uh, go vegetarian, and uh, throw my gun in the dust and never look back. Uh, <laughs> I feel I probably could have said that faster, but, but that's what you got, la la, and I'll see you in the tubes.